yo, yo, TNT Dynamite here, the explosive one. We're playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we got the pure, pure, pure pad shaped geoglyph on our journey to get all of the geoglyphs. Uh, in order, I'm trying to do them as well. For the next one, we're going to come down here to the Sahara Hasa, uh Slope Skyview Tower. We're going to go there. And uh, from there... We should be able to find our next geoglyph. All right, easy one to spot. All right, so, uh, oh, look, man, this is a good time for me to, oh, it must be that one right there. All right, good time for me to, uh, talk about me for a little bit here. Unless you want to, you want to talk, you can, you can take the floor. I'll wait. Okay, here's your time. All right, I guess I, I guess I'll talk about me a little bit. No, seriously. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I got a friend who's having a uh, who's having a child, first child. Guys, naturally excited about it. Let me give you a quick two. Sorry, Tulin, blow me. And uh, he's pretty happy about it. Obviously, what is this thing? What is this? A star fragment. Was that impressive that I caught it out of the air like that? Please let me know, because if that was like some slick, some slick dick willy maneuveration type stuff, like, am I sugar free now? Am I punk to God right now? Am I, am I freaking Shane Otaki? What's this guy's name? Shohan, I don't, look, I don't actually watch baseball, but I put respect on the names of an individual who deserves it. And show how I, I'm not even going to attempt to say it again because it might come across in like like I don't respect the man. He's doing good stuff. For me. Oh, they're Christians. I get it, they're Christians. will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zona. <laughs> How interesting.
Okay, on a scale of one to ten, how hot is Gannon? I'm I'm a dude, so he's like an obvious zero for me. I'm just saying, like, I, look, I'm straight enough to say he gets a three. All right, he gets a three. All right, like I I wouldn't be surprised if me and him were in competition for for chicks at at the bar or something. You know, like he, obviously the man's got a little bit of riz. He's got some ambition. You know, my man's is out here <laughs> trying to take over entire timelines and shit. And you know, I. I work a nine to five and have a YouTube channel and a podcast. So like, it's like, jeez. Oh, All right. Well, you know what? Yeah, you know we're just we're gonna change that train of thought. Let's get to the next one. All right. Let's get to the next. Show Hayatani. All right. For the next one, we will be heading down to the Gerudo Canyon. Skyview Hell All. All right, like I was talking about from way back in the beginning, like, look, man, my brain's all over the place, all right? I'm trying to keep it together. I can't I can't promise you anything. Uh, he's having his first child, and I got him and his wife a, a, a child-rearing present. I don't, I'm not good with social situations, so what do we call this, like a, a heartwarming gift, a child, here's a, ba you, you having a baby here gift? It, like here's some free shit because you're you know you're pregnant like you procreate i don't know how look i don't know anyway i got him a gift and it's like a thing that is check this shit out it's like a backpack type of thing but it's like all cushion on the back and then it has like a little ring cushion this one's not easy to see buddy wait i have a I have a marker i have a marker all right, so my marker, I need to turn it around town, baby. Turn up oh, there she blows. All right, but it's like a backpack, but it's like a like a pillow, like a like a light pillow on the back and then it has like a a little cushion where the head would be so that when the baby's first starting to take its steps and stuff, um if it falls or if the child should fall, we, I don't know the sex of the child. That's why I'm using the it uh pronoun um if it should fall it would you know protect the head and the back that was a long explanation to just tell you i got him like this little cushion backpack for baby falls but it, it's cool man it's like it's like a blue dragon with like yellow uh what's it got yellow wings and like yellow 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 horns i figured that was unisex enough that was about as unisex as i could get and I, you know, I didn't want to like tell him I was getting it for him. I wanted it to be a surprise of some sort. So, and it's not anything obviously they'll be using in like the first, <laughs> maybe like year, I guess. But down the line, damn it! <laughs> I don't know when kids start walking. They start walking by like one, right? I don't know. All right, so it's definitely it's not up here. How's my stam looking? Let's refill stam, by the way. All right, and then we're gonna hop down. I'm gonna try to hit you with something new on, on every epi. We we not we not the same boys out here, alright? We're different boys. We we're off to a slow start this week, but I'm feeling back in the back in the thick of it. Alright? I'm feeling really thick right now. Like a warm bowl of Cheerios. Is that it right there? Did I find it on my own without any help? <gasps> Oh, I splashed in it. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. But we're here. I want to apologize in advance if I do talk over some of the cutscenes, but... I'm actually feeling emotion as this is happening, right? Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies. On behalf of the Gerudo, for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. What? A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. 
I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <coughs> your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. <laughs> Most impressive. <sighs> It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. Your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. Ganon is so cool! King Roru, I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name, even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. Ah, Sun Tzu. There is nothing to worry about. Okay. Not gonna lie, I, I'm kind of not mad at the fact that Ganon called him out on his interspecies relationship. Just saying, a little weird, right? Like a little weird. If you're into that, you know what? Never mind. You know what? I'm not gonna yuck your yums, baby. I'm not gonna do it. That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> what a cool scene. I'm seriously, I'm a fan, and I'm a fan and Gan boy. That is what I was going to say, but what I meant to say was, I'm a Ganon fanboy. I am. I'm 100% Ganon. I want a game where Ganon is the main focus, and I play as Ganon, and I, even if I lose at the end, even at the end of the game, I'm like sent to some imprisoning, like at the end of the game, you just, you lose the link. I don't even care. I want to rise to power as Ganon. I want that experience. All right, man, I'm sorry. I was long-winded. We are going to the next one. Okay, for the next one, we'll be heading to the Lindor Skyview Tower. And we'll be heading south from there. All right, I honestly have no idea what I was talking about, like, 30 seconds ago. But th that's not important. What's important is that I appreciate you making it this far into the video. Maybe you should hit the like button and subscribe. I did, the, I did the YouTube thing, all right? I have to. Jonas told me I have to. <laughs> I can blame him. Jonas made me do it. I don't want to pander to the, the, the viewership. That's not my bag. All right, so it's not this one here, if I recall correct. He, he's, I mean, the, the thing said it was south, so I need the that south. Yeah, 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 this way. Tulin, get on the case. Either way, if I were to equate myself to a room in the house, I would be the game room 100%. Like just soda in a mini fridge, like all the systems hooked up to the best looking television, like a a freaking land area that's 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 what you're getting from me am i going the right way brother i've already done this one don't tell me i did the wrong one 
Oh, no. Did I do them out of order? All right. You know what? On second thought, I think that this is faster. All right. I think I think we got it. All right. I think I think we figured it out. We go to the Takarak Wax Shrine. Oh, boy. You know, it is hard work that goes into these videos. I'm going to tell you right now. TNT Dynamite, I care about the content that I bring to your doorstep, all right? Here we are at the Turkawak Shrine. Now, the god dang thing should be... Aw, oh, brother, it's way up there. I think it's way up there, fam. You know what that means? Oh, brother. We're gonna be rocketing our way up. That was not even close, bro. I don't I don't do this often, all right? So What are you doing? I see a little smoker up here. Man, come I ain't got time for this, brother. And you're shooting real weaponry at me? This man's using real artillery right now? All right, you are not though. You're only a blue boy. You are going to catch the blues when I put my scythe in your face. See? Ooh, dodge it. Get in there. Get his flame fruits. We're going to go in our pockets. We're going to pull out a balloon. I'm going to take one of you out. I'm going to take out a flame emitter. Boom. One of you out. We need something to stack it on, right? So let's take out two rolly carts. Boom. Put them together and what do you get? Take out two sleds this time. All right, two sleds, sled them together. Another flame emitter. Don't you dare roll down the hill, you little bastard. All right, put it in the, put it dead center. Put her, put her dead, put her dead center, put her dead center. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. All right, flip it up, smack it, rub it down, oh no. And then, um, uh, yeah, I guess we just light it up. Just light it up. Let's go. All right, just ought to get us some elevation. All right, I think this is the right move, though. I think that we are doing the smart thing right now, okay? I have no idea if this is right anymore. But it's, it's like, this is beautiful, right? Like, when do we get a view like this of Hyrule? Never. That's when. Can I get up? What the freaking hell, man? Yep, yep, yep. Trip so nice. Figured I'd take it twice. Figured I'd go. Figured I'd take another one up, right? Might as well. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Look at that. I didn't even know you could do that, did you? Uh, I'm a freaking firebender, dude. Call me Ang or or whatever i don't i don't i never watch that show i was uh like look man i'm not gonna lie naruto that's my ish all right i i will die on that hill all right if when it comes to anime i'm a naruto fan when it comes to elevating to a higher uh elevation i am not a fan of this balloon i'll tell you that much this is for the birds my man i'm here to tell you kind of feel like I don't know if this is the right way to do this but you know what we could be wrong we've been wrong before I'm definitely jumping off this time to give me a big old blow buddy I don't know what happened there oh my flame emitter ran out oh no all right so you know what look we found it you do, you do go, if you go from the Lindor Skyview Tower and you come along here, some bee is right here, man. I was so close, but we figured it out. I just, I'm bad at following directions. 
I'm a big dumb dummy with dumb ideas and dumb brains and a big dumb mouth. My butt stinks, it smells, it's dumb, it's a dumb butt. I don't even use it right. I've been told, I've been told I don't use it correctly. Never have, never will, I don't know. Something's wrong with me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stam up. I think I'm just gonna stam it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stam. There's no way I'm missing this thing, man. We've been through the ringer. Believe me. But we will succeed. The thing is, is that stick to itiveness. You ever. Don't you hate it? That reminds It's like a, a Gen Z boss in a mini. You gotta have that stick to itiveness, bucko. If you wanna make it in here, fake tan hands in a hoop. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Gives me that very, like, synergy type of vibe when I say stick to I don't know if they even use that anymore, man. That was a. Uh, that was a staple of a bygone era of a way to belittle younger people, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Boy, how times have not changed. Hey, but guess what has changed? The amount of tears that we have in our cutscene library gets larger. I was not looking for you, but I'll take it. <laughs> Link got some upper body on him, you know what I'm saying? Right? But yeah, it's been it's been a good day for me, honestly. I can't complain. I've got a long weekend this week, baby. I'm gonna be recording videos. Is there a backlog? Is the is the next question. Yeah, there's a backlog. You're a backlog. We're not going to talk about that right now. I don't even know why you would bring that up. <laughs> this is pretty good when I can just uh, when I can just act like I'm having a conversation. With, I can act like I'm having a conversation with Jonas. <gasps> I'm going to get a bunch of Jonas quotes, put them in a notebook, and then I can just like whenever I don't know what to say something, I can just look at the notebook and be like, what the hell are you talking about, Jonas? And he'll be like, skibbity bee, skip, scabbity boop boops. And I'll be like, Jonas, what the heck does that even mean? <laughs> that Jonas always saying skibbity boop boops. He's a skibbity boop boop machine. We found it. Easy does it. Don't touch the membrane. a cool effect. Okay. <gasps> she time stopped it. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory. I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. Huh? You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But... You also desperately want to help us out in this era. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Your concern is very sweet, Zelda. 
It's one of those types of relationships. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. He is very strong. <laughs> and his heart is good and true. <laughs> okay. Ah, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Oh. Indeed. Yeah, I would also like to meet him. <gasps> he must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> oh, foreshadowing. By the way, I cannot stand Zelda's voice. Why is she British? She sounds like Cammy. When she said my heart, I was like, you're Tracer, bitch. What do we do? I'm sorry. It's pixels on a screen. I would never refer to. Anyway, I'm again. Look, as far as the story goes so far, Ruru, Minoru, big fans. Yanobo, uh, I can take him or leave him. I'm glad he exists, though. Uh, uh, my, my girl here, Riku. Riju, 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 Riju. I didn't forget your name. I didn't forget your name. Shut up. Love her to death. Tulin, you know what, my man? You're on the team. You're on the team no matter what, man. You're an integral part to the game. I'm glad I got you first. All right, but that is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you for joining us. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's check in on Empa real quick since she's here. Well, if it isn't Link, so you're investigating the geoglyphs too then. How diligent of you. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> I appreciate the pat on the back. How diligent of you too, madame. All right. Look, thanks for joining me. And uh, until the next time, be good to each other. TNT, and I'm out.